Hello everyone, Fanta here, you're watching Fantavision, and today I am back with another Tales from Retail, People of Walmart edition. Yes, you guys really enjoyed the last one, so I thought I would do another one, because I'm also out of ideas. So why not, right? Why not make fun of, slash, just kind of marvel at the things you, and people, you will only see at your local Walmart. So, let's dive right in. As I said last time, let me know in the comments if you have seen anybody like this. Because I have definitely seen some insane looking people when I was working at Walmart. And I've unfortunately heard stories from Eric about people shitting all over the floor. So, it's highly likely that you've probably seen these people in your store. So, we're starting off with a real classic. Somebody who is just dressing themselves like as worse as possible. I don't understand the, the complexity here. There's a lot to break down, even with this first photo. We're starting off strong here with a guy who I don't even know what's going on with his hair. It's kind of, it looks like dreadlocks slash a mohawk slash... What is going on with the, the mo- I don't know what the mohawk thing's about. I really don't know. And then he's got this collared shirt on that's obviously a button-up. It's wrinkled as hell. And then you look at his pants. Now, his pants are probably what you guys saw first. And that's what I saw first. You're really drawn to what the hell is going on with those pants. It looks like his grandma died, so he decided to honor her memory by wearing her little knitted, knitted quilt as pants, but he didn't want to just wear, you know, knitted quilt as a pants. I mean, that's that's too far. So he knitted it to his jeans. So he knitted the knitted quit quilt. I can't say quilt for some reason. He knitted the knitted quilt to his jeans, you know, just to honor his grandma's memory. So good for him. Oh, and then the shoes are just as colorful as his pants. At least he's matching the outfit. Proud of him for that one. Okay, so... I'm not really sure why this truck driver doesn't like doggy style. Maybe he lives in one of those states where missionary is the only position that is legally allowed. If you look that up, that is a real thing. There are plenty of states that have outlawed any other position besides missionary. And this guy, he took that law to heart. So his whole life, he's only done missionary and he can't stand the fact that that other people are doing doggy style or any other sex position. No doggy style around him, okay? His truck is loud and clear about it. He'll probably turn you into the cops. This one's just funny. I'm sure Eric would really appreciate this one. In fact, I'm going to do this next episode with Eric, but he just doesn't live with me yet. We're moving next week, well, this week actually, and we'll be doing more videos together, more Tales from Retail about Walmarts. The podcast will be easier. There'll be a different futon area background thing. Maybe I have no idea what he's doing with his room. It'll be interesting. So what can I say about this changing table? Place sacrifice here with a pentagram and it says Hail Satan. I have to... The comedy of it. It's great. I mean, it's a changing table. You want to put your baby there. You open that up. Do you still use it? That is the question I have for you all. Would you still use this changing table? Your baby just shat himself. What are you going to do? You got to change him. You're going to go find a different bathroom? I don't think so. You're dealing with a crying baby. I'm pretty sure you're putting your baby there. Though, I don't know if I'd really trust that to begin with. You are in a Walmart. This one I had a real chuckle about for the obvious reason you can see. There's some two, there's two frontiersmen here. One of them looks like Scrooge. He's got the top hat. I really love that. He's like a frontiersman Scrooge. It's just fantastic. They must have come from some reenactment. But I like to think that they're not coming from a reenactment. And this is just how they dress. Because I can't really think of what reenactment they'd be coming from in order to be dressed like that. He has the classic coonskin hat. Proud of him for rocking that. Proud of the fact that he's proud to wear it in a Walmart. And you gotta love the top hat. I mean, top hats are just classy. He needs a pipe and a monocle. He needs a cane. But you know what? At least he's got the top hat. That's a solid, like, 20% of the outfit. I'll give him 20% of the credit. Good for you, man. You got that top hat. Also, I love this section that they're in. 
because it, it doesn't match anything that they're wearing. It doesn't match what these frontiersmen people would be like. If they're like in the meat section or like the frozen dairy section or something, that would kind of make, oh, not the frozen dairy, but the dairy section would make sense. But instead, what they're in is the, uh, <laughs> like the cinnamon roll section, like the, the cinnamon rolls, the like pre-made cinnamon rolls in the tube. I love it. I love this picture. They're dressed up like this to go buy some cinnamon rolls for the morning. Good for you guys. This guy either lives in Arizona, Texas. I don't know where else there's a bunch of guns. Somewhere in the south. So, <laughs> this is great. Count the guns. It's like one of those eye finds, but with how many guns this guy has. Technically, this guy has four guns because there's one on his shirt. But... Actually, I think if you look, I think he also has an ankle gun because his jeans are really baggy. And usually people wear really baggy clothes when they have an ankle gun to conceal it. So I'm guessing this guy at least has four real guns and then one on his shirt. I don't understand why you would need this many guns. I under Now, I do understand carrying a gun in a Walmart. That makes sense. You are in a Walmart. You need to protect yourself. But this many guns is just baffling. And then the way he has them all is even more baffling. First of all, the fact that he's got a gun on each side, just great. Just, is he going to shoot with both hands? Is one for just changing when the other one's out? Is it like he's got the Call of Duty logic where it's faster to switch to the pistol than reload? So he took that message to heart and he's like, you know what? What's even faster than switching to a pistol instead of reloading is switching to another pistol instead of reloading. So he's got that double speed going on. However, if you look his revolver in the back, the way it's put back there, there's no way he's getting to that easily. It's it's buttoned down behind him. Maybe he's practicing all of his life just for that one moment he needs to use one of his three guns. Well, four guns actually, because like I said, he probably has an ankle gun. Hilarious photo. And oh, by the way, he's got a cowboy hat on because of fucking course he does. I love I love this photo. This one's so great. I was almost done getting photos and then I saw this one and I'm like, I have to add it. I have to add it. The look on the people's faces that work here. Well, one of them looks like they're wearing a pound of makeup, but the other one is just so shocked and has no idea what to do and is almost getting kicked in the face full force, even more than full force by this deer because this deer is off the ground with all of its legs. It kicked so hard, even its front legs are off the ground. And the look on its face, I don't know, it's just seeing its face all mushed up next to its legs. Oh man, it's great. And I would love the video for this moment because it's just phenomenal. It's so good. Just, oh, I wanna see the aftermath of what this deer does. Now I know this is not a political channel, and uh, we don't get political on here, but I do want to look at this photo because it's absolutely hilarious. So this guy is covered in what looks like newspaper clippings of different articles that support whatever the hell his, his beliefs are. Um, I'm not quite sure what's on the strings all around him. I believe they're babies, which is just terrifying. He also has those things that you string up around your house you know, like on the uh, like the outside of your house or on fences, the American flag thing for like barbecues. Yeah, he's wearing that. He thought that was a clothing piece, so he added that to his collection. And he has a sign on him, which for some reason, these people I feel like think they're doing a good thing. They're they're spreading their message of whatever the beliefs are, but really you're making whatever you believe in look crazy. Because you look like a crazy person. You have babies tied all over you. You have barbecue stringing and you have newspaper articles that you're wearing as a hat and you have a sign that says pro-death voters make Nazis like a, look like a good neighbor so first of all he is glorifying Nazis sort of while wearing all of this other stuff now this guy is the wackiest lunatic I've seen in a long time and uh, I would want that guy with four guns to protect me from him. Where do you go right after you get married? Walmart, obviously. It's the best place for a honeymoon. I... 
<laughs> this was like one of the first photos I saw on the People of Walmart website, and it's just hilarious. I mean, the fact that he's not even wearing a suit makes it even funnier. And it's got like this, it's either like a band. I think this is a, a band. It's got to be because it's got all the different, it looks like cities where they've gone on tour. So he's wearing a band shirt and just shorts. Oh, and he's got flip flops on. I didn't even see that until now. And she's wearing a wedding dress and carrying it around with her. Now, there are plenty of different things that could be going on in this photo. Either they just got married and they're shopping together now. This is their honeymoon, going to Walmart. Or, you know, it's such a shame that you only wear your wedding dress once. I might as well wear it to Walmart. <laughs> that could be the other thing that is going on here. Maybe that was her thought process. You gotta get some good use out of that wedding dress. This is the best car ever made. It's a banana car. Some guy took a pickup truck. I actually looked this up on Google because I saw it and I've seen it before. Andy, who is another streamer, he put a picture of this on his Twitter saying he bought it as a joke. And it's this inventor that I guess took his pickup truck and converted it into a banana. I don't quite know why. It's got its own Twitter page. I guess he's trying so hard to make this a meme and to make this into a thing because he's got his business phone number on his Twitter and nobody's really liking his posts. His engagement is not very good. So it's not working yet, but don't give up banana car guy. We all believe in you. <sighs> and with that, we wrap up the second episode of Tales from Retail, People of Walmart edition. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode once again just like the last one there's a reason i'm not numbering them but if you want to see the first one i'll have it at the end of the video um for some reason youtube algorithms just don't like numbers being in videos the ones with the bigger numbers obviously get less views so i'm just gonna keep calling it people of walmart something so i don't know i might do this as a monthly thing i think it's quite funny i like looking at these photos i hope you guys think they're just as funny as i do and comment down below if you've either seen this banana car before. I feel like some of you might have. And uh, let me know if you've seen any of these type of people from Walmart before. Or if you've seen a deer in your Walmart. Let me know if you've seen a deer in your Walmart. Wild animals just getting loose into stores are the funniest videos ever. And as always, have a fantastic day. See you guys. For those of you wonderful people still watching... Today I'm drinking Boulevard Tank 7. It is an American Saison Ale? Saison Ale? It's delicious. It's a very dark ale. And it's got 8.5% alcohol. That's quite a bit. That's like two beers in one bottle. Phenomenal. Delicious. Also, I do want to get your opinion. What do you guys think of the hat? I'm still torn. I'm not, you know... 100% sure what I think of it. For some reason, it says Link on the back. That kind of kills it for me a little bit, but no one's really looking at the back of my head, so at least you guys aren't. You guys didn't know that until I even said it. But beyond that, I really do hope you guys enjoy the People from Walmart episodes. Uh, we'll be moving pretty soon. Hopefully, there won't be any internet outages. If there are, I'll try to make do, go to Starbucks or something, upload a video. But there may be a slight interruption in the regular pace I've had with videos lately. And to all those that keep watching these, that keep sticking around, all my patrons, all of you just lovely people that keep supporting me, thank you.